Is this Nurburn? Uh, my grandpa wants to talk to you. It's important. He's old. Dan? That's Nurburn, uh, the guy you phoned. Who are you? Who are you doing? When white people won, it was a victory. When we won, it was a massacre. When they fought for freedom, it was a revolution. And when we fought for freedom, it was an uprising. Did you write these, Dan? I got lots more. I want you to fix them, make a book. We were placed here to learn the teachings of the land. And the land says to forgive, like the fresh summer grasses forgive the harsh snows of winter. I have not been raised up to speak for my people, but I'm old and my time is short. They're his words, Grover. No, they're not. They're your words. Tom, Tom, do it. Boom, 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 boom. No Indian alive dares to think too much for the past. The bones of my people are crying. That's all I got, Grover. Maybe that's not good enough for you. You got all the answers? Why don't you write the damn book, huh? You don't even show him any respect. Wait just one second. I drive a thousand miles on my own time and dime just so that I can help an old man write something to give him some peace at the end of his life and you tell me I don't show him any respect? I told him not to trust a white man. A lot of ways to see, Nurburn. Don't hurt him. Grandpa's fighting for the old ways. The only way he knows how. I just don't understand why me, Dan. I don't feel worthy. The world is not an accident. We don't always choose our parts. If you're too small or too weak, it is too late. <laughs>